hey hi friends welcome back to my channel so guys in today's session i am going to show you one of the common interview question has been asked multiple times guys and one of the common issue which you are going to face in your production environment guys so what is the issue that what do you mean by nfs permission denied issue right or it can be asked to you in the other ways also guys like that what do you mean by root underscore squash what do you mean by what do you mean by no underscore root underscore squash these are the question 100 percent i can challenge on this one they are going to ask you in the interview when you are going for the linux job or you are going for the application support job or a production support job or any of the role like sre platform engineer or devops role guys so to resolve this issue let me show you how you can resolve this issue guys this is very simple and easy and you can resolve this issue this permission denied issue guys but if you want to know that how to configure your nfs server how to configure your nfs client and these type of troubleshooting you wanted to know then you can go ahead and buy my 100 days of it corporate bootcamp there i have explained each and everything all these issues with real time projects right with all the configuration in my 100 days of it corporate bootcamp guys so let's start the session without wasting much time but if you are new to this channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notification guys so let's start the session so from the nfs server what is our shared drive so our shared drive is srv nfs share correct so let's already we are inside this one just try to touch some of the files file one file two file 3 file 4 correct you are able to create the file yes or no guys correct if i'll do ls so i am able to see all this file in the server end but same thing i should be able to see in the client end yes or no same thing where i have mounted let's go inside this splunk data so i should be able to see those files i am able to see yes, these sir. files correct but at the same time from the client end also you need to create some file you need to upload something right then how you are going to do so same thing i am going to do it from here file 4 file 5 file 6 file 7 what i am getting permission denied why i am getting this permission denied guys what are the reasons of getting this permission denied the reason behind that one you are getting this permission denied because the default setting of your nfs is root squash root squash means what you are trying to prevent the root user you are trying to prevent the so here i have written also option is the default setting which enables this behavior by mapping the root user to a anonymous user means ultimately you are preventing your root user to create any file or to access any file into the shared directory so to resolve this issue you need to make an entry in the export file in the slash etc export s file right that no underscore root underscore squash guys remember this is this question 100 percent i can challenge on this one it's going to ask you in the interview okay so when the no root squash option is specified it disables this behavior this means the root user on the client machine retains its root privileges when accessing the nfs here means what it's telling that basically when you give this option into which file into slash etc export as file so you should be able to create any file in the shared directory and also you should be able to access any file in the shared directory being a root user so this question can be asked to you in multiple ways guys so let's try it out so what we need to do is let's come over here just open this file slash etc export as file export. so here in this you need to mention comma no, no underscore, underscore root underscore s q a s h squash correct now escape write and quit it doesn't mean that it is effective so for this you need to restart correct what we need to restart we need to restart control r system uh, nfs server it has to be nfs hyphen server dot service okay 
so it is active let's restart it so it is restarted now now run the same command you should be able to create the file okay now you do ls you are able to create file 5 file 6 file 7 guys clear so same thing if you go to the nfs server okay just do a ls you will be able to see all those file file 5 file 6 and file 7 correct so this is one of the common issue which you will face while working with nfs this is the way the most important uh, of your entire nfs so guys i'm ending up the session here only thank you for watching this video for more videos like this just stay tuned to my channel and please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notification guys till then just do take care of yourself your loved one bye bye and jahin